The year was 2005. Now, you're sitting in your third grade class, working with your math blocks. You just had square pizza for lunch, so it's been a good day. All of a sudden, your teacher says, Hey, everyone line up. We're going to the library. Now, at first, you're confused. But as you approach the library, in single file fashion, of course, you begin to smell a smell. A smell that only the gods could describe. Now that smell, of course, was the Scholastic Book Fair. <laughs> Who knew that a dozen or so metal bookshelves placed in a circle could be the source of so much happiness? I mean, this place had everything. Erasers that look like food, wizard kits, cheat codes, scented pencils, Lamborghini posters, diaries with passwords guaranteed to keep your crushes a secret, and don't even get me started on all that spy gear that they were selling. I mean, I'm really surprised that the FBI was on board with all of this stuff. FBI, open up! But it wasn't just about the chocolate calculators or the rubber pencil grips. It was about the books. For starters, we're talking Hardy Boys, Captain Underpants, Judy Moody, Scary Stories in the Dark, Magic Treehouse, Harry Potter, Artemis Fowl, and that weird fly person book. But the holy grail of all the books they had at the fair was hands down the shiny green Guinness Book of World Records. If you had the money to shell out for this crowning jewel, you would not just become a celebrity in your home room. No, it was much bigger than that. You would become a celebrity in the entire school. Even your arch nemesis would flock to you so that they too could look at the pictures of that one chick with the really long fingernails. Or that other chick with the large breasts. Usually it was either one of those chicks. However, if one did not secure some of that hashtag mummy money, well then the fair was not all that great. Usually your old local librarian would make you sit in the hallway silently and watch all the other kids who did have money shop around. Pure torture. But for those of us who did purchase a book and maybe a little money eraser on the side, well, we now found ourselves playing the waiting game as it literally took anywhere from eight months to 10 years to get to our books. But finally, when that white plastic bag arrived, filled with your scholastic merch, well, dare I say it was like a second Christmas. Whew, just the thought of that white plastic bag. Wow, it's giving me a crazy high right now. This has been an episode of Nostalgic History. If you love Blast from the Pests, then hit us up with that subscribe button.